Hi, I'm Bonnie Blomberg. I'm at the University of Miami School of Medicine. I'm a professor in the Department of Microbiology and Immunology. I got into aging because one of my collaborators, uh, Rick Riley, was working on how B lymphopoiesis, or how B cells come out of the bone marrow, uh, was affected with age. And I was studying a transcription factor called E47 that was involved in activating B cells. And we found that it was decreased in the precursor B cells in the bone marrow of old mice. And subsequently, we found that not only the cells in the bone marrow, but also the cells in the periphery or in the spleen were not as active in older mice as compared with younger mice. And then I wanted to find out how this was affecting the function of the cells. And to do that, we transferred over to working with human beings because there, humans, especially older humans, are vaccinated with the influenza vaccine. And so we did a study to see the difference between the immune response, that is the B cell antibody response, to the influenza vaccine in the elderly versus younger people and what cells specifically which B cells were affected most. Initially we found that the cells that were the memory cells that would be important in creating a good antibody response were much lower um, in number and in uh, percentage in elderly people. About the same time, we discovered that the late memory cells, which um, had certain cell surface markers, were increasing. And so we've been recently working with those cells and finding that there's a lot of inflammation in the cells that are increased in um, the elderly with um, B cells. We found that the same markers that we found in mice this transcription factor E47, and also an enzyme called the activation-induced cytidine deaminase, were good markers even before people would get the influenza vaccine. So people who were high in E47 and high in AID, and that was almost all of the young people, gave a very good immune response, a very good antibody response to the influenza vaccine. Whereas elderly people that did not have a good E47 and AID in their B cells, they did not have a good response to the influenza vaccine and that correlated completely with their B cells before stimulation. Subsequent to that, we re-looked at some of the data that we had and, and saw that people who are obese, and that is with a body mass index greater than 30, looked like they were elderly in terms of their immune response to the influenza vaccine. After we found out that people who are obese have a worse response to the influenza vaccine, we started measuring in both mice initially and subsequently in humans the adipose tissue. And in mice, this these are um, visceral adipose tissue in the, the gut area. And in humans, we had a collaborator who would, uh, would give us adipose tissue from the um, panulectomies, which uh, are in the stomach area. And we take visceral adipose tissue uh, as well as the um, stromal vascular fraction, which contain the lymphocytes and monocytes to study inflammatory conditions in these areas. And what we found was that cells that are coming into the adipose tissue have uh, receptors, for chemokine receptors, for chemokines that are in the adipose tissue. And we found that by even mixing these in mice, the cells would convert from cells that were not inflammatory to B cells that were inflammatory. 
what we're working on is the specific cellular and molecular components that contribute to a decreased immune system, especially B cells and antibodies, with age. And the more we learn about that, we can intervene at um, other pharmacological or molecular um, levels. The overall point is to learn what goes wrong and how to fix it.